What is going on Frostbite people and welcome back to the Frostbite channel. We are at Kamishigama Lodge on Lake Kamishigama, far northern Quebec. We're going to be chasing some big pike today. We're going to be using the Magnum dinner bells as well as the XL dinner bells. Oh my god, it's a giant. It's a friggin' giant, guys. Oh my god. It's a big one. It's a 40 for sure. We got him. We got him! Chunky, chunky 40. Thank you, girl. Bye. What is going on Frostbite people and welcome back to the Frostbite channel. I'm Andrew Walker, I will be your host today and we're in a very special place. We're at Kamishigama Lodge on Lake Kamishigama, far, 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 far northern Quebec. We're gonna be chasing some big pike today. We're gonna be using the Magnum dinner bells as well as the XL dinner bells and some 5.1 inch Dragon Slayers on the head spinners jigs and we're gonna just move up super shallow and hopefully catch some of these ultra big 40 inch black spotted leopard pike that are in here. We're gonna start on a weed line that's six to three feet of water and then we're gonna move up into a super shallow river and move up the river and cast a bunch of bays on the way in. Might do some trolling later but for now we're gonna start with casting some of these big spoons and hopefully I have a big pike to show you guys in not long. Let's get after it. All right we are gonna get started. I'm gonna cast the big magnum gold dinner bell on a spinning combo with 30 pound braid, on a CI4 going to a titanium leader. Then I also have set up on a bait caster combo, an XL dinner bell there, a little bit smaller, gold in the back. Gold seems to be a hot color the last couple days and we're just gonna throw spoons in this really shallow weedy bay and we got the river right in front of us that we're hopefully gonna smack some of these great big pike in. Without further ado, let's get to it. First cast, that would be pretty sweet. Let's try a couple little casts with the small dinner bell. 10 feet of water. Oh, there's a pike right on the live scope. There's a pike under the live scope. Oh, we saw one. That's a good sign. I think these spoons are gonna light them up. I think they are going to light them up. Okay, six feet. You can see some reeds starting there. And all this gets where that calm water starts is about three feet of water. And then there's a the mouth of a river right there. And these fish are coming out of the mouth of the river, obviously post spawn, water 60 degrees. And they're staging in these areas right at the mouths of where they're spawning. And then they're gonna move back out to main lake. So I'm hoping there's still a couple big girls laying in here in the shallows. We will see. Got one. We got one. Uh, feels good, actually. Feels like a good pike. Oh my god, it's a giant. It's a giant. It's a friggin' giant, guys. Oh my god. It's a giant. It's a giant. Come on. It's a thick, big fish. Don't come off, baby. Oh my God. It's a big one. It's a 40 for sure. Please stay on. We got him. We got him. Okay, so we got a big one. First cast, first fish actually, sorry. Absolute chunker. Let's go, that's a giant. It's a really good fish. On the XL, I downsized a little bit after starting with the Magnum. Forty. It just touches 40. Let's go, first fish of the day. Chunky, chunky 40. Yes, sir. Look at the noggin on that baby. Let's go. Let's get him back. Wow. 
That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Yes. Let's go. Thank you, girl. 40 incher. Bye. Wicked, right on the edge of the reeds. We got him, first fish. Man, he smashed it on this medium heavy bait caster. The green with gold XL dinner bell. Got a little bit of hook rash there, or got a little bit of gill raking rash there. I'm shook up. I thought that was a little bit bigger, but whoo, he smashed it. That is so good. 40 incher first fish. I did see a smaller one on live scope, but that is wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Just making short casts in these little pockets here. Hoping that there's big girls sitting up in those reeds, kind of like that last one was. I caught that last one almost right where the boat is sitting right now. It was out just a little bit off the weeds. I don't know if you guys can see those black flies, but holy man. These things for the bugs, let me tell you. They are magic. Magic. Slip out this pad, put in this pad. Brand new. What a beautiful day to catch big pike in the north. We are north too. We are so far north. Like three hours of dirt road north. Making a switch. Gonna go to the big boy. I like to add a little bit of action into it too. Kind of like a jerk bait. Get it really swimming erratically. For some reason I feel like they're gonna be out there in like the five feet, no weeds. 4.8 here on Navionics, it's all sand other than where these reeds are, but where Steve is from point to point before going up the river there. There is a big, like a cabbage hump uh, and three feet of water. So I'm hoping this fish may be staged around that. Okay, let's go back to the XL a little bit. Got him on, baby. Yeah, little guy. That's Switch back to the small spoon and go one. That is not the size we want, but he ate it the right way. All three points in the mouth. That is far from the 40 inch we just got, but up and coming 40 on the XL. Again, I was using that big gold for a while, trying to see if I could get a big bite, no bites. Two minutes after switching back, we got a small fish, so maybe they're wanting this smaller presentation. There's quite a size difference in the two, as you can see. And this one is getting bit, but I do not put it past them that they will eat that big one. Time will tell today. Got him. What a sick eat. I saw him miss it the first time. Nice. Nice, a little better than that last one. Oh wow, what a jump. <sighs> nice one. It's gonna let me grab him. Hey, let me grab him. Right on, nice. Well, number three of the day. Really nice fish. Probably about a low 30 inch, 33 maybe. And he absolutely crushed. I saw him swirl on that XL frostbite spoon and then came back and just ate it. Gave us a little bit of an acrobatic show, a couple jumps. We'll get him back right away. Oh my God, he soaked me. He soaked me, he soaked me. Number three, we have only done the first bay. We're about to head into the river. My buddy Steve headed up to do walleyes in the river. And we're gonna follow him and do a couple little bays along the way. But first, we're gonna finish this because we have a nice little three foot weed edge that drops off with a little bit of current. And that fish was sitting right in that hole, right where there's a bunch of sand. So, so we're gonna finish casting this area, keep with that XL dinner bell, and we're gonna move up river and see if we can get another 40. 
I'd like to get a 45. I think that's everybody's dream, but dreams come true. I like lack Kamisha Gamma. So we will make dreams reality today, maybe? I think so. Now, in early spring, I find you cannot go wrong with big spoons for big pike. The water is already 65 degrees, so it has warmed up really fast, but we are the first week of June. And the XL and the Magnum dinner bell from Frostbite, I knew was something I wanted to include on my trip to be able to cast for these big pike. To be able to get a 40 incher right away this morning on the XL dinner bell, absolutely put the cherry on top of my trip. I think we waited a little bit long because by 11 o'clock the bite slowed down when I really started to focus in on using the Magnum, but I think this will be an absolute killer big pike and big musky bait to come in the future. I can't wait to try these a little bit more on the ice, but all in all, they smashed the pike today so far. Sick two spoons, full of teeth marks. We're gonna get back to casting. Got him. They're stacked on that little sandbar. Doesn't feel very big. Not a bad one. Not a giant, but it's only got one hook. You can come off. You can come off if you want. Right after. Another probably 30 incher. Great little pike. They are loving that green. I should try a different color and see if I can get them going on something else, but. Right now, they're just loving that green XL dinner bell. See you later, alligator. You're gonna go so good, bye. Back to it, that's three bites in a row off that sandbar. Not the big ones, but the fish are there. And when you can find a concentration, normally those big females are not gonna be too, too far away. So we're just gonna keep plugging in this corner. And we got a little bay right there that we're gonna check out as well before getting up the river. Is that a little pike? That's pretty much right where he was. Oh, we got him. It was a pike. <laughs> it was a little pike chasing minnows or something. Little guy. Another little guy. We'll throw that guy right back. They're biting. They're on that weed line like crazy. Steve went ahead up river, like I said, and I don't have time to join him because we're just catching fish right now. And the big ones are here, so you gotta weed through them small ones to get to the big ones. Okay, we're pushing into the river now. You can see all this crazy tall weed that's here. We caught a bunch of fish right there off that sandbar, so I imagine there's a bunch stacked into the back of this bay. If I don't get weeds every time like that. Come on, give us another big one. Oh, there's one. I don't know if it's big. No, it's not very big. Imagine a 40 incher came and ate this one though. That would be crazy. Little guy in the salad. Okay, they're in the salad. There's some thick weed already in here. We dropped into a bit of a hole now. We're on the edge of like a 20 foot hole that's right behind us. So there could be some really good big fish in here. I naturally want to figure eight every time. It's just the musky fisherman in me. Yeah, let's grab the Magnum. We know the XL is going to get bit. We know that's going to get bit. But will that get bit? I think I'm actually gonna throw it on that bait caster. Okay, there it is. Butterfly. Let's get a big one on the big one. We're drifting right on the edge of the hole. The deep water's behind us. We're sitting in eight feet at the back of the boat. So much flash. I can see the spoon from so far away. going on this big magnum spoon baby it's not even a big one <laughs> he smashed it we 
we can net you. Cause I don't want to get near that spoon and that hook. First one on the spoon. The big daddy spoon. First one on the magnum spoon and it's not a magnum. Nice little fish. He came in so aggressively to eat it and he took off so aggressively as well. This is the cast. This is the final fish cast. I called it. That was it. That was the final fish cast. It was not big. <laughs> but that's where they've been stacked all day. Not a very big one. Well, final pike of the day. Definitely the smallest of the day. But he smashed that XL dinner bell. We may take two or three more casts before moving out. But we're going to go back to the cottage for lunch. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for joining. Don't forget, go down below and subscribe. Peace. Oh, oh my god, it's a giant. It's a friggin giant guys. Oh my god It's a big one It's a 40 for sure We got him We got him! Chunky, chunky 40 Thank you girl. Bye